the total surface of the station is uh, is the 70 a thousand square meter um, and so you have three big housing system uh, inside each housing system you have a greenhouse then at the core at the center of the village you have a very big dome uh, with a lake uh, like four basin um, and then you have three big center the science center the art and music center uh, and the astronaut training center uh, so it's here it's quite uh, it's quite big we have two two main uh, goals uh, the first one is basically to take space technology and to apply that back on earth to uh, for human students how to live more in harmony with the environment um, and the second scope of the project is to use our station as a testbed for space technology in order to help humans settle on other planets. So the type of technology that we're looking at to use from space back to Earth are what is called life support system technologies. Um, so technologies that provide basically everything that human needs feel physiologically uh, to be alive. Uh, so meaning air, food, water, um, and then everything around recycling, waste management, waste management that is going around it. The biggest problem, the, the, the weak knee of the space station is the ECLIS, the Environmental Control and Life Support System that scrubs the excess carbon dioxide out of the air and recycles the, uh, the wastewater into to drinkable and usable water. And these systems are very specialized. They honestly break a lot. The astronauts have to take them apart and fix them all the time. And often the carbon dioxide levels in the station are unacceptable, causing health concerns. So once we build the station here, then we can iterate and develop the technology that will be needed over there. But at the same time that we're preparing for over there, we can test things and we can build solutions that are needed right now on Earth. The idea is basically 50% of the year uh, it will be dedicated to science, engineering and astronaut. Or the other half of the year, uh, it's open to the general public, so you, me, families with kids, we love kids, we want to have kids there, uh, you'll be able to um, to basically apply for a mission. Uh, team building exercises, universities might participate, it's, it's widely open to a, a lot of different opportunities there and the whole time we'll be collecting data, testing iteratively and trying new systems and until we get all this right, because trying this for the first time on Mars would be a really, really bad idea, and this is why it needs to be done.